everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here today with Birch Press Designs and another design team project. For this project, I'm going to be using their new Mini Dazzle Bevel Plate Layering Die Set. That's a mouthful. And I'm also going to be using their new Merry Honey Script Die Set as well. So when it comes to the Dazzle Bevel Plate, there is a smaller section. So it, instead of it being a full card panel plate this is split into two sections and they have like three or i think there's three or four maybe three different styles to that so it's still the wonderful layering die that they have but you have this small section and then this larger section on the bottom i am only going to be focusing on the top section for this card you can see i've already cut out my cardstock I'm using a, a light blue, a white, and an aqua for the uh, layering panel, let's call it that. I'm going to be using my liquid adhesive, and this is my art glitter glue, um, to adhere all of my pieces together. Now, what I also did was I used the same aqua blue, the top layer, for these plates for the background of my Mary and then I use the white for the word itself I am loving the honey script this is the perfect size and you get that cloud um, die for the background as well so you can use it two different ways um, you can cut out a section of your card to put the sentiment down in there you can just use the top part you can use multiple of that die to give it dimension and then of course the way that I'm using it to place it on that shadow or cloud so that it can stand out just a little bit more so I'm gonna set that aside and I'm going to grab I have cut a piece of desert storm four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm just playing with the arrangement I'm not sure if I wanted this to be a landscape card or a portrait I do, and as you can tell by the picture, I do end up um, making this a portrait type card. So I'm going to place that panel along the top of um, the craft card stock that I have there. But what I'm going to do, again, there's that white pigment. I don't know what it is. Um, don't get me wrong, the vintage photo is always close by, um, but I really, when the holidays start coming around, mm, the white pigment ink really does come out. I do like the Gina K, and what I did, I created like a cloud at the bottom, so I have a lighter color of the craft cardstock coming up. So I added more to the bottom of that. I don't know if that makes sense. That was a lot of words, though. So I'm going to place that down. It's about three quarters of an inch down from the top. And then the Mary is going to sit right in that last section where that true color of the cardstock is sitting. I'm going to use my double sided foam squares throughout this back, which is really nice because you can actually use double sided foam squares as long as you cut them down. Um, but this isn't something that is so small that you're not able to do that. You have to keep cutting those dies to get the dimension that you're looking for. I'm going to remove the release paper. almost forgot what that word was. And I'm going to place my die onto my panel. So I do want that on an angle as if it's coming out of the cloud going to adhere this still using my liquid adhesive to adhere this to my standard a2 size card base my card base is four and a quarter by five and a half and now this is going to be a top folding card I'm just going to press down to make sure that it's nicely adhered and then i'm going to grab um, my favorite sequins and these are the iridescent sequins by darice I'm going to have fun on the bottom. I just wanted to add um, many 
don't know how to else to say that, but many um, sequins to the bottom. So it's almost as if, too, I have a, a pattern, you know, like a pattern paper going on down there or, you know, a piece of material um, that's coming in. So these sequins are different sizes. I believe they're 5 millimeter and 8 millimeter. So I'm just using the different sizes throughout the card on the bottom. To pick up the sequins, I'm actually using my wax pencil. Um, this is actually used in the nail industry for gems when you put them on your nails. And I actually saw this on one of Vicky, whose last name I can't pronounce, so I'm just going to say Vicky P. Um, on one of her videos, she had sh shown that. And I haven't looked back. They are wonderful to use and at a great price point as well. So I'm just finishing up putting on the last sequins. Of course, that one's giving me a problem. And I'm going to put those back in the pot. And then that is our card. So we've got a lot of different textures going on just by adding sequins where we position something and so forth. So I do hope you enjoyed um, today's card using the mini dazzled bevel plate layering set. And the best part, yes, there is a giveaway. So I want you to make sure that you go to the Birch Press blog. The details for the giveaway will be down below in my video description, along with all of the links to the products that I used. And you want to make sure that you go to the Birch Press Instagram account as well. So you've got many, many chances to win one of this um, die out of the layering set. So thank you so much for stopping by. I'm glad you made it to the end. Um, if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. By ringing the bell, you're sure not to miss the next video when it goes live. I hope everyone is having a great day. And by all means, always remember what's most important. Always be creative.